Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Mendoza, and this is Colton High's very own. We will be providing you with a variety of updates about school, weather, local stories, and even worldwide stories. Please join us for the club and sports meeting segments managed by Catalina Gian. Catalina. Hello, Colton Yellow Jackets. I'm Catalina Gian, and I'm here to talk about your upcoming sports. So for the first one, it's going to be cross club meetings. We'll start at 3 o'clock, and if you have any questions, feel free to email Ms. Garza about it. And if you have any questions about our band book club, it starts at 3 o'clock and feel free to email Miss Leva. But if you have any questions about our wellness club, feel free to email Mr. Alvarez and his meetings always start at 3 o'clock. And if you have any questions about bio, our bio club starts at lunchtime always. And if you have any questions, feel free to email Mr. Asiabe. And if you're into marine biology, feel free to answer to Miss Politeer, and they start at 2.05. Hi, my name is Tiffany Ramirez, and here are the birthday shoutouts. Kendra Flores, Leonardo Moya, Andrea Vega, Justice Molina, Natalie Duncan, David Sanchez, Victoria Sanchez, Jeanette Marentes, and Diego Anaya Macias. Happy birthday to all of those names that I just listed. Thank you. Hello, my name is Joseph Duran, and I'm going to be bringing you the weather for today. Today, expect a high of 78 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Over the next week, temperatures will be varying from 85 degrees to 50 degrees. Saturday through Tuesday, expect clear skies, but on Wednesday, things will start to fog up. Thank you. Thank you for the weather updates, Joe. Now, Yellow Jackets, here I am again, Jocelyn Jason, with your sports announcements. On April 12th, boys and girls soccer lost 0-1 against Bloomington. On April 14th, boys and girls soccer won 1-0 against Grand Terrace. Boys tennis lost against the Royal Valley, and girls tennis lost against Rim of the World. Today, boys tennis has an away game against Rim of the World. Girls tennis has a home game against Aurora Valley. Boys and girls soccer both have away games against Rim of the World, and finally, an away swim meet versus Aurora Valley. Reminder that spectator sport games are limited to only two spectators per player playing in the game, and spectators are only permitted through advanced signups. Check out CHSCA Athletics on Twitter for more information or email Coach V for further details. Now, here is Lisa Sucho for the Student of the Month highlights. Hi, Yellow Jackets. My name is Lisa Sucho, and this week's Student of the Month is Alessandra Bill. Here are a few words from her. Hi, my name is Alessandra Billy. I'm a sophomore, and I wanted to say thank you for my award as Student of the Month in my Honors Algebra 2 class. This really wouldn't have been possible without my amazing teacher, Miss Birch, so big thank you to her. And I'm extremely appreciative of how my hard work has been recognized in such a challenging course. So thank you again. Thank you for that clip and now for your news flash story. Attention all Colton High School student and staff. The ballot for Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket has opened today and will end on April 23rd at 3 p.m. Make sure to turn in your votes for who you think our first Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket should be for the class of 2021. Now here's Leslie with your local stories. Thank you, Lisa. For this week's local story, Evelyn Cruz in 12th grade was the first prize winner for the Rotary Club speech competition. She will move into the elimination rounds on April 17th. She won a prize of $200. Hi, my name is Tiffany Ramirez, and here are the nominees for Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket. The nominees are Isaac Moreno, John Aguilar, Robert Rodriguez, Isaiah Duran, Adrian Arcaniega, Crystal Castro, Jocelyn Jason, Catalina Gurion, Daisy Nahar, and finally Samantha Ruiz. Here are some of the nominees with some words on why you should vote for them. Hi, my name is Adrian Miguel-Sinega, and uh, I'm a senior. I, I think only seniors can get nominated, actually. Uh, so I'm nominated for Mr. Yellow Jacket. And uh, well, thank you for nominations. I didn't even know people were like, whatever. 
uh, I should be elected because, well, I do track and I and I really like helping out um, teammates and, and running and stuff, doing the four by one, the batons, I really like doing that. Um, I'm the AP Biology Club president. Uh, I really like uh, taking students out um, to do trail cleanups in like the San Bernardino National Forest. Thinking about it, uh, I guess I should be nominated because I would say that I'm pretty normal, just like all of you guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just a normal student just like you. So I guess thinking about it, voting for me would be like you voting for yourself. So you should vote for me because I am the runner for the common man. So voting for me would be like voting for yourself. So vote for me. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is John Aguilar and I'm one of your nominees for Mr. Yellow Jacket. One way I like to represent Colton High School is by being an outstanding student and also being a positive one as well. I like to, I'm not afraid to like be able to help others. I'm a very unshy person. I like to be able to interact with everybody around me. I like to be also know that everybody's doing positively immensely good. I'm a very helpful and outgoing person. Um I'm one of those people that like to make sure everybody's doing okay and good during school and or even like when we went to school I, I like to be able to know that that person is doing good um i'm the one to be able to spread positivity i'm just an overall happy person you know um i don't think nobody has caught me being like sad or mad at, at school or in person overall i feel like miss uh, being a yellow jacket is not just by being positive or being helpful it's by representing the school on being responsible and respectful to others, which I believe I am one of those students that is really respectful and responsible. Um, but yeah, this is my little short video of myself that I just like being positive and outgoing. And I just be, like to be myself. I'm no one, like, I don't have to fake a face or a smile or anything. I just go by my flow and be myself. And I hope you guys nominate me. Again, it's John Aguilar. Hello Yellow Jackets, I am Isaiah Duran, a nominee for the Mr. and Mrs. Yellow Jacket. By challenging myself, I believe that I display the traits of a Yellow Jacket by being responsible, respectful, and acting with integrity. This includes my involvement in school, being a part of ASB from my freshman through senior year, holding the ASB treasurer position twice, and currently holding the position of ASB president. My dedication to academics reflected in my class ranking as number three. My commitment to sports, playing three varsity sports through the year, including cross country, wrestling and track, being the captain for wrestling and cross country. Also, my dedication to other activities like AVID, being the treasurer of the AP slash Honors Biology Club, uh, volunteering in my community, and assisting the elderly. Ultimately, these contribute to the factors that allow me to excel as a Yellow Jacket. Hello, Yellow Jackets. My name is Jocelyn Jason, and I am honored to say that I am a nominee for the very first Mrs. Yellow Jacket at Colton High School. Thanks to you guys. To me, a yellow jacket in three words is somebody who is hopeful, determined, and faithful. A yellow jacket is so many more things, but those are the top three that I could think of. I am a graduating senior of the class of 2021 with an average GPA of a 3.6. For the past six years in junior high and high school, I have been taking AP honors and regular courses. I did start working at 16 years old and I started in ASB as junior class vice president. I'm now senior class president managing two jobs and this COVID outbreak. I am honored to say that I have got together the community and a group of moms who helped me raise so much money for the class of 21 to be able to put on um, non-CJUSD sponsored events and try to make the best of this year um, in hopes for giving future Yellow Jackets hope, determination, motivation, etc. All I could say is have faith, dream big, think big, and know that anything is possible because you never know where you might end up. This is the last thing that I thought would happen to the class of 21, but we are trying to make the best of it. And thank you guys again for nominating me. Hi, my name is Crystal Castro, and this is why you should consider me to be the very first Mrs. Yellow Jacket. I feel like I represent Colton High in all the right ways. I have been in honors and AP classes all four years of high school, and I'm also very involved in school with being in extracurricular activities such as AVID, ASB, 
National Honor Society, and Link Crew. Outside of school, I am involved in my church and attend a class throughout the week while having a job and managing to keep my grades up. I'd really appreciate your vote. Thank you. Hello, I am Daisy Nahar, one of the five beautiful Miss Yellow Jacket nominees. I am campaigning to be the first to memorize the impact I've had at, on and at Colton High School. As I have always carried where I come from strong, I do so in school, spreading love and kindness and making all students and teachers feel welcomed as they are now part of a family. Now help me in becoming the first Miss Yellow Jacket. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Catalina Guillen and I wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for nominating me to being one of the top five Colton Miss Yellow Jackets. Being able to represent Colton High School would not only be an honor, but it would only be an accomplishment. Knowing that this year has been rough, class of 2021, I hope that we continue this tradition. Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Reese and I was nominated for Miss Yellow Jacket. During my four years here at Colton High School, I've been very involved in multiple clubs and organizations such as Renaissance, AVID, National Honor Society, and a few others. Besides being very involved in extracurricular activities, I'm also taking multiple AP and Honors courses. After high school, I will be attending UCLA as a biology major with the goal of going into the medical field. In the near future, my goal is to give back to my community and to serve the city of Colton. With that in mind, I hope you consider me for Colton High School's very first Miss Yellow Jacket. Thank you, Tiffany. This week's staff of the month is Miss Khan. Here are a few words from her. Ms. Khan here. I teach English, if you don't know that. And I just want to say thank you for the award. I really do appreciate it. I have my daughters here. Say hi, girls. Hi. <laughs> it means so much to me to get this award. I just, my students mean the world to me, and I want the best for you guys. I miss seeing little faces. So remember, turn on your cameras so your teachers get to see what wonderful people are behind those screens. And thank you again for the award. It means the world to me. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Say, go Yellow Jacket. Go Yellow Jacket. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Khan. Congrats. Next, we have Valeria with College Info. Hello, guys. I'm here with College Updates. This week's updates, we have information regarding summer school. Now, the dates for summer school are June 7th through July 1st, and that is 19 days. So, 19 days of summer school. And you will have two sessions to attend. The first session starts at 7.30 a.m. and ends at 10.30 a.m. The second session will start at 11.05 a.m. and ends at 2.05 p.m. The school has provided us with three options where we could register. Those options are Mission Academy, Options for Youth, and the Colton High Summer School. Now, those links um, you can find in your Google Classroom where your graduation class is. And you can also get a better explanation of how summer school will work. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, just email your counselor. And if you do not know who your counselor is, you can log into Zangle and click the demographics bar and it will tell you who your counselor is. That is all for college updates. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Joseph Duran and I'm gonna be telling you guys about the pick updates for food and supplies. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., the Rancho Bus Loading Zone will be open for students to pick up textbooks and exchange malfunctioning school devices. Also on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., you will be able to pick up grab-and-go meals, which include two days' worth of meals. You can pick these up at DRC, Bernie, Grant, Joe Baca Middle School, Zimmerman, Cooley Ranch, Grand Terrace High School, Grand Terrace Middle School, Bloomington High School, Rogers, Lewis, Lincoln, McKinley, and Crestmore. Just a friendly reminder, the heart office will be open from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. But remember, we are working remotely, so contact us at any other time and we'll get back to you. Thank you. This has been Colton High's very own. I'm Crystal Mendoza, and on behalf of our team, we are pleased to provide you with accurate and weekly news. Take care, Yellow Jackets.